welcome to the channel Cupcake Diaries. And on this channel, I we I do um polymer clay tutorials, tram tutorials, and um I show you, I make tutorials or lots of stuff. And if you want me to do anything, like make something and do a tutorial on it. I'll do it because just comment in the um in the comment section of course and um yeah so to start off my new channel I am going to um show you what you need to get started on polymer clay charms. So um you would usually need like a big box of some kind to keep all of your stuff in and um it just opens like that and I just have uh clay in here to keep as a spare in here. Okay, so first um I'm gonna show you the apps, like tools. I am really cheap tools. I just find them around the house. Okay, so first I have this um brush, this paintbrush, which is really good for a dotting tool, but I wouldn't really use it as a dotting tool. I would I would just I would usually just to put texture on it or like put a hole to a donut or something. But I don't really use it that much. <clears throat> and this is a flattening um, tool. You can usually buy these in craft stores or, um, you know, um, nail varnish. Because like, this is actually made from a nail varnish set. So. <clears throat> and then you will need a knife a uh, polymer clay knife so yeah, yeah. and something else that you need is uh well i had these before i just need to take out the sticky and then um, it is a uh, glue like it has paint in here and then when you take off the lens it has the brush and it's really good for um like just in case I need glue or, for, or anything. And then, um, yeah, and then I have um, some green wire. Um, you can buy these on craft stores as well. I usually, well, you don't really need them for polymer clay, but if you want to make it a necklace, then it's really good to keep them. Because now I, I have a yellow one as well, so and there's a green one, and um, I have some clay, a uh, cat color clay. You can buy these. You can buy these in your local craft store. And um, sorry that the camera isn't that good. Um, I usually use it to put um, kawaii faces on and then I have this tub of all of my scrap of stuff and I need to put this in and it's actually really good for keeping scrap in oh and then uh, this came with the clay I bought it's called Clayotic and it has different co colours what you can make to make colours and octopus and but it's really good, it's really soft and it smells lovely. Um and then you will need um They're like red. They're like you know the things that you put in top of charms. I forget the name. Um, yeah, and I forget the name. 
I forget, I'm sorry. Um, and then you will need these um, um, Santi, I think they're called. Well, in well, they're called San Santi rings. These ones, and you put them to. to I don't. I never used them. I never. I just made charms. I didn't really use put them on anything yet. And um and of course you yeah. need um clay and uh, I have really good clay. I only got it a few days ago. I used to do other um YouTube um videos yeah. on a different channel called Sweet Heart Tutorials, but it didn't work out. So, um, I, I don't know, I, so I waited till I got colours clear. And, um, I have all of these colours. I have more and more and more. I bet you have to get it because it's so soft and it's brilliant to use. So there is lots of service. Eight colours in it. And look, it's just a little tub and it has a clear turn on it. And if you dip your hand in it, it's so soft. And it's really good. So I really, if you're looking for clay, I you can order you can order it online. I don't know if it's in America or anything, but it's in Ireland. It's in Ireland and UK, and I think it's in Ireland. And I, it's in UK, and um, it's really good. So um, yeah, that's what you need to uh, get started off, and um, I'll see you later. Bye.